Hi friends! So I'm getting ready to do my nightly skincare routine for the night and I wanted to show you how I do it and what I do. So I usually just put my hair up and then I put on this little like fuzzy headband. It's from Amazon. Um, I'm going to link everything at the end um, in the swipe up. So I put this on my head, just get all my hair out of the way. Um, and I pull it back until my hairline usually. So I still have makeup on my face, obviously. The first thing you want to do before you do any skincare is remove your makeup. And you don't just want to use a cleanser for that. Um, I sometimes use the makeup forever, like the cloth. Um, I actually forgot a washcloth too. Oops. Um, I use the Makeup Forever cloth with water to remove my makeup, but lately I've been loving um, this cleanser by Tula. It's the Kefir Replenishing Oil. They do a double cleanse. So you use this oil to cleanse your face, cleanse all your makeup off, and then you rinse that off, and then you use um, their, yeah, their purifying face cleanser after that. And then this is the cleanser I use morning and night. So I'll get into that in a second, but... So before you do any skincare, you want to make sure you remove your makeup. So this is what I'm going to do for that. And I'm only going to do half my face just so I can show you. And then I'm going to do the rest like off camera because it's really not that interesting. Um, but I usually use two pumps for my whole face. So I'll just use one pump here. And then I just take it and you just rub it into your skin and on your eyes. And it will remove all of your eye makeup. All your makeup. It's so so easy so you just rub it in um, it's a uh, it's just an oil cleanser so anyway so you remove your makeup and then you want to do the four steps of skincare always morning and night you want to cleanse tone treat and moisturize so this is just before that all together I just rub it down my neck all over you can see I look like a hot mess but it my makeup is just gonna wipe off so easy now with just a warm washcloth and water or a washcloth with warm water. So I will be right back to do that. Okay, so I used the replenishing cleanser, um, cleansing oil and all my makeup is gone. I haven't washed my face with soap and water yet. This is the Tula purifying cleanser that I use. Um, and I, my face is wet right now and I take these little, um, sponges from Amazon. They're not a sponge. It's like a silicone. It's a silicone sponge. And I put a dab of this. Let me show you this cleanser on it. Like seriously, the smallest amount. And then I let me get my face a little bit more wet. I will just massage this all over my face with this little brush so this stuff is great um it has a slight smell to it but it is literally my favorite cleanser i've ever used before i bought that huge bottle of it um i purchased the travel size which is what I typically do with products like hair and makeup products. I'll buy the travel size if I can to try it out and see if I like it. Usually a travel size has like two weeks worth in it. So I did that. My skin is so broken out right now. It's so red. I, my hormones are raging. I can like feel it. Okay, so I just rub this cleanser all over my face, get my eyebrows my hairline all that and now I'm gonna go rinse it off and this is wet so I can use this I literally just wipe it all off and then so this is the first step in those four steps steps to skincare I know I already said that in the last little clip but you make sure you need to make sure that you are cleansing toning treating and moisturizing your skin whether you have dry oily normal skin all that um also i never really said this but i have acne prone as you can see sort of um dry in some places i have combo skin but my skin is much much more normal than it's ever been um Ever in my whole entire life 
I had super acne prone skin when I was in high school and beginning of college. And then my skin got super duper dry right before Eric and I got married um, about a year ago. It was so dry. I, I, I didn't even know what was happening. My skin has never been dry before. Um, and now it's pretty normal. I mean, I still get breakouts occasionally, but the methods I use to clear them up are like perfect and they'll go away in like within a day or two and it will be great. So um, that was cleansing. So now before I tone my skin, I'm gonna dry it up a little bit. I'm going to use my steamer. I have it ready, so let me grab it really quick. <clears throat> This is my steamer. I got it on Amazon. I usually sit um, in my bathroom. This like this, it's set up a little bit different. But I sit with the steamer um, right here on my lap or counter level, whatever. Um, and I put my face in it and I just let it steam up and steam while I'm doing all of my face things. So even while I was rubbing off my um, the makeup removing oil I just used, I have the steam going next to the sink. And then usually with my purifying cleanser, I'll have the steam going. While I'm putting it on, rubbing it in, um, washing it off, I'll go over there for a little bit and just let it, like this just opens your pores and just lets all the product really go in sink into your skin, which I love. So I'm gonna let this do this for a minute. It looks like I have a mullet with this headband on. <laughs> So the next step in the process is going to be to tone my skin, which I'm going to use my unique rose water to do that. Um, I had the Trader Joe's rose water. I have one from Ulta. Forget the brand on that one. I like them, but this is my like all time favorite rose water. So I'm just going to spritz my skin. And then once I've toned, I'm not going to use the steamer anymore because the toning is going to close up my pores, which is what I want. So before I do my mask, I wanna tell you a little bit about it. So this is the Peach and Lily Good Skin Day mask. Excuse me. This is called the Drench and Moist. Um, so this is just going to drench your skin, hydrate it, and then put in antioxidants, vitamins, minerals, all the stuff that your skin really, really needs. Um, this product and all the other products I'm using don't have sy synthetic hormones, fragrances, um, dyes, alcohol, parabens, sulfates. They don't have anything like that. They don't test on animals. I don't use products that do all of that or have any of that in it. So everything here is organic. Every like It's literally everything. There's no formaldehyde, no animal testing, none of that. So this is a super light mask. Um, it's a sheet mask. So I'm going to open it. I'm just going to apply it and then I leave this on for 20 minutes and then I come back and do the rest of my skincare. So I'll hop back on in a minute or two after I, well, 20 minutes after I apply this. It's a very, very thin mask. Let's open it and see what we're going to do. When I walk out into the living room, Eric's going to think I'm crazy. Well, he already thinks that, but this is just going to prove it. All right, so you can kind of see the face there. I'm going to stick this on. and I'm just gonna rub it in. And then I usually leave this mask on for 20 minutes. I'm gonna look at the packaging to make sure, but I'm pretty sure this one is for 20 minutes. Yeah. Okay, so this is the Drench and Moist for a reason. It is super moist, but my skin is going to feel so refreshed and vibrant after. I'm just gonna take this extra serum I have that's leaking out and rub it down my neck. I'm just gonna rub it all in just a little bit and then I will leave this on for 20 minutes and I will be back. I'm gonna walk my hands a little bit. Yeah, this looks crazy. <laughs> all right, I'll be right back. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes and while I take this off and let it sit a little bit longer. I'm gonna explain treatments at nighttime. So I change up the treatment that I use um, nightly on a daily, like nightly, daily basis, whatever. Um, I'm constantly changing that up. So 
back to the mask real quick i took off that sheet mask i'm just gonna rub in the leftover product and then kind of dab off the excess if i think there is a little bit too much so so my nightly treatment changes every day i do not do a mask every single night because that would just be skin overload and too very expensive um, but I like to do a mask at least three times a week. I try to do at least three times a week. Um, that was kind of a New Year's resolution I made to myself last year is to make sure to really, really take care of my skin. So, um, I've been doing this, this intense, I guess you could call it skincare treatment for over a year now. Um, and I've seen literally amazing results. So anyways, um, tonight I did this sheet mask because my skin was just it was dry and it's it's cooling down tonight. It's gonna be cold here tomorrow. So I knew that my skin was just gonna, I was gonna wake up and it was gonna be dry and I didn't want that. So I'm preventing that from happening um, by doing that mask. I love that mask. It's so refreshing um, and it makes my skin feel like a baby's butt. It's great. So anyways, back to the treatment for like the third time. I will mix it up. I like to do the number seven um, scrub, my micro, Dermaplage micro, it's something micro scrub. Anyways, I posted it the other night or like last week one day. Um, I love that one. It's m like the most intense um, exfoliating mask that I do. Um, there's two or three other ones I like. There are, there's another thing I do too. Oh, there's like a, a plumping face mask. Anyways, there are dozens of face masks that I have that I will do. Um, whether they're applicable or the sheet mask, there's a bunch of them I do. So I change it up based on what my skin is saying that day. Um, like today, I just knew it was gonna be really dry tomorrow and I wanted to kind of prevent that. So the next thing I'm going to do is moisturize. And I'm kind of on the hunt for a new night cream. I don't use the same um, cream in the morning as I do at night. That's just something that I do. I just kind of judge based on what my skin's doing, like I said before. Um, I got this sample of this Tula day and night cream. It's supposed to be great because you can use it in the morning without it being too thick. Um, I like it, but I'm looking for something that's like super thick and creamy. So if you have a night cream you like, let me know. I used to use Unique's um, Time Correcting Night Cream, but they recently stopped making it. So I can't buy it anymore. And I literally have like three more uses in the little tub. So I'm gonna save them for like a special occasion. Um, so I don't use very much of this, just like a quarter size amount. And I always, always apply it to my neck. Um, whether you have oily skin or dry skin or combo skin or whatever, you need to use a moisturizer. If you don't, your oily skin will be so much more oily and your dry skin will hurt. So everyone needs to use a moisturizer. So I've been using this one. But I'm kind of, I like skincare, so I'll try whatever. Um, so if you have a good night cream, let me know. So now that that's done, I'm going to let that soak in. And usually if I do like an exfoliating mask or like a detox mask or something, I will apply a serum and mix it with my night cream. But since that mask had leftover serum on it, I didn't need to apply a serum tonight. So while I let that soak in, I'm actually going to um, apply my lash serum. This is also just a part of my skincare routine that I do every single night. This is my unique, I think it's called a steam. Yeah, so it's Moodstruck a steam lash serum. And I just apply it to my top and bottom lashes. Do this every night and I don't do root to tip on this just because you don't want it getting in your eyes but I do the ends of my lashes and I love it. My lashes are so much darker and longer than they used to be because of this stuff, I swear. So this is just something I do every night. Um, my mom actually applies it on her eyebrows because she doesn't really have much eyebrows. So this will grow your eyebrows too, um, if you need that. So the one of the things I do every night too, usually I do it right before I get in bed. Um, I'm not going to bed right now, but I'm still going to do it to show you guys, is this lip treatment. This is the best stuff on the face of this earth if you have dry lips. I have dry cracked lips. You can kind of even see. Um, if I do not apply this, they are 10 times worse. I love this stuff. Um, 
forget someone recommended it to me like six months ago and I have not stopped using it. So I just take a little bit on my finger and I actually apply it around my lips and on my lips just to make sure that even like my uh, lip line and stuff doesn't crack. I'll use a different finger. It is the best, best ever. So maybe if I apply this now, I won't eat ice cream tonight. <laughs> we'll see. All right, so, and this is just on Amazon. Got this on Amazon. I think it's like $18, $19. It's amazing. And I've had it for, like I said, like six months and I have a lot, like a lot, a lot still in there. I'm actually gonna buy a second one to keep in my purse because during the winter months, I've been using this chapstick during the day and I really love that. So now on to the acne prone part of my skin. You know, I have a breakout up here and here and a little spot over here and then a little bit by my chin. So I'm going to use a spot treatment. This is the Kate Somerville spot treatment. Um, let's see if I can do that so you can see it. It is, forget what it is. It's like sulfur and something else. Anyways, you're not supposed to shake this. This is a glass bottle and it has like the pink, it looks like Pepto-Bismol honestly, which is kind of weird pink and then there's like a white clear layer um, and then all I do is just take it and I dip a q-tip into it just like this and I get a little bit on it and then I just dab this stuff onto the spots so this is a spot treatment because it is a drying agent so the sulfur is going to dry out and dry up these pimples. So you do not want to apply this stuff all over your face because it will dry you out. Even if you have acne prone skin, don't apply it all over your face. So I just leave this on and it will dry up and then tomorrow I will wake up and not have any more zits on my face. This stuff is like magical so it will work overnight. Especially if you catch the zit while it's like young or whatever, while it's like new. Um, it's magical. So that is my nighttime skincare routine. If you have any questions, just email me or message me. I feel like I don't know where I am right now. Um, this is for Instagram stories, so don't email me. Well, anyway, so I'm going to link my skincare blog post here. Um, it should be up in live by the time this video is up on stories. So I hope you guys have a great night. And if you have any questions, like I said, message me.